Hello, my name is Abrielle Negretti, and this is my Life Science Center called Let's Grow Together. Um, first off, this is going to be a science center that focuses on life science, more specifically on plant life. So that includes um, seeds, leaves, and then just all together how plants grow. Um, the specific grade level that I'm going to be focusing on is first grade for this entire um, science center. So first looking at my next generation science standards that I'm gonna be addressing with all of these um, different activities. Um, I'm gonna start off with Alice 1.a and that's a structure, um, structure and functions. And that's gonna focus on how plants have different parts. And that includes roots, leaves, flowers, fruits, and um, all those different parts that kind of help them survive and grow. The next um, standard that I'm gonna be addressing is Alice of 1.d and that's information processing and that goes over how plants respond to external inputs. Um, the next two are related to each other and that's Alice 3.a and Alice 3.b and both of those um, kind of go over how plants um, can be similar but they'll never be um, exactly the same. How a lot of plants will be, um, despite being from the same family, might be different in looks and just all together how um, they grow. So looking at the first activity that I have planned, um, my first activity is called Make a Seed Book. And this activity is for students to be able to make their own book that has different seeds in it so they can kind of evaluate the differences between seeds and how they actually grow. And you know, like the differences, like regardless of them all starting off fairly small, how they can each grow into something very different from what it looks like at the beginning. So it's gonna start off, students are gonna be able to choose four different seed packets for their book. Um, I'm going to have a variety of different seed packets for them to choose from, but they get to choose four. And they have to fill in their Ziploc baggies with the seed choices. After doing that, I'll staple the book together for them and they'll be able to take this home if they want to. So they can choose if they want to, um, you know, plant any of these seeds in the future. So I have wildlife blend, sunflower, um, watermelon seeds, and carrot seeds. But they'll have the opportunity to choose from a variety depending on what they think they might want to try to grow at home. After they make that book, I'll be having them do this worksheet. Um, for the seed book activity and it's just going to be having them draw the four different seeds that they chose to um, to have in their booklet and four pictures of what that seed is going to grow into. So it might be like watermelon seeds, they're going to draw bigger seeds and a big watermelon. It might be like for the wildflower seeds, that's tiny little seeds but nice big flowers. So they're going to be drawing the basically before and after of all of these seeds to the plant that they're growing into. The next activity that I'm doing is called a leaf feely box and that's um, this activity right here and it's called a feely box because students are going to be feeling around and um, doing this activity as a group together by feeling. So the purpose of this, um, of this activity is students are going to have these four little templates and as a group they're supposed to decide which of these boxes has which of these um, plants by just feeling for it. So without looking they're going to have to feel inside the box and decide you know what I think this one feels like this succulent um, plant. This one feels more like this big leaf. This one feels like the tiny leaves. And as a group, they're gonna have to come to a consensus about which one is each. So maybe box one is that one, box two is this one, box three and box four. Um, and after they do that as a group and they think they have a good idea of which one is which, I'm gonna ask for them to fill out this part individually. And that's just drawing a picture of the plant that they think is in each box. So tissue one box, I think is the one with a lot of leaves. Tissue two boxes, the, the flower. Tissue three boxes, the big leaf. The next activity I have planned is actually gonna be their exit ticket to be able to go outside. And that's gonna be the parts of a plant worksheet. This is just a worksheet for them to kind of test the um, idea of the different parts of a plant and whether or not they have a good understanding of that. So they should be able to look at the pictures and determine that's a seed, those are roots, that's a leaf, and that's a stem. And they're gonna be asked to work on this individually at first, but if they do need help, then they can ask their peers or me at any time. Um, after that one, I have this one because this one's gonna be more of a long-term unit goal. Um, and that, that's because it's gonna be something that they're gonna have to follow for the next four months. So um, they're gonna be given a cup and some soil and a seed and they're gonna plant their own plant. This one's called Watch Me Grow because they're gonna be watching this plant grow for the next four weeks and monitoring its growth at the end of each week. So this worksheet is what, is I'm, go what I'm gonna be expecting for them to do because at the end of week one, I'm gonna ask that they complete a full sentence to describe the growth that they're seeing at the end of each week. So at the end of each week, they're gonna pull this out and say maybe a sentence like, I have not seen any greens, but I do see budding or different terms for that. They might say, I think the plant has grown two inches. I'm gonna have a ruler by um, in the back for all of them to be able to um, measure it if they want to. Like this plant is almost two inches high now. So they might write, my plant is two inches um, 
higher than the cup or a sentence like that. Um, but ultimately, all of these four activities are covering those um, California science standards. And I also thought that they covered some other um, California standards. And that kind of um, incorporates the other ways that I think that this science center incorporates different subjects from math to writing. Starting off with two um, writing standards that I think that these um, activities cover, I started with vocabulary and concept development because I think that the first one, um, classify grade appropriate categories, is covered by this worksheet where they have to classify these different words in the word bank to plants. The next one where they have to write applications um, and write descriptions for things, uh, they're going to be doing that when they're writing descriptions for the plant growth that they're seeing. And the last one of measurement and data I think is also covered by this plant one where they're going to have to measure the plant and keep track of the data of what they're seeing at the end of each week. Ultimately, the assessment that I'm going to have for the students to do throughout this unit is going to be these four worksheets. This is how I'm going to assess that they kind of got a good understanding of what they were learning from this leaf filly game to the seed booklet to this growing thing. Um, I'm going to expect to get four different worksheets from them and this is going to be how I'm going to assess whether or not they're understanding everything correctly and getting a good idea of what this unit is about. But um, that was my science center called Let's Grow Together.